everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, create racetracks on Track Attack. As you can see, Track Attack supports all different types of motorsports, both lap based motorsports like road racing, rally cross, oval, oval solid racing, um, and fun runs. Um, and Track Attack also supports point to point based types of motorsports like rally stages, autocross, drag racing, hill climbs, drifting, and a bunch of other things. So uh, the way that creating a, ra uh, a race circuit works is you first uh, um, select the type of session that you want to be able to do. In this first demo, I'm going to show you how to do a, uh, a road course session. So one thing to note is that before you can recreate a racetrack, you have to be logged in. So you have to have created a, a, ra uh, a profile on Track Attack and have logged into the account. As you can see on the driver tag here, I'm logged in and I'm, I'm going to be able to uh, um, create uh, racetracks. So in this first demo here, I'm going to show you how to create a lap-based uh, track, and we'll use a road course uh, as an example. To go to road course, and Track Attack here is trying to load the uh, official and user-created racetracks nearby. And as you can see, there are no official, and there's a lot of user-created racetracks because we're at my house, and we've done a lot of testing around my neighborhoods. So what you do here is you click on this plus sign, which is add, um, in, in the Windows phone and in the iOS versions, it might be slightly different, but you'll see a button there where it basically says create or add a new racetrack. So you'll say create new user track. And it's going to load uh, the menu or the maps. And so what we'll do here is basically uh, you want to pan to where you want to uh, add your start finish line. So let's just say hypothetically that we're going to use this triangle based section as the racetrack. So what you do is you hit start or add start finish line and the app will drop a pin in the middle of the screen but then you're able to go and uh, grab it and move it around to wherever it is that you want and so you can zoom in and be as precise as precise as you want you can also go through and change the views of the map and just in case you uh, are in an area where you know that the aerial view will be detailed enough for you to see where you're at And as you can see, you don't need to be in the physical location of where you want to create the track. You can be wherever it is that you want, uh, anywhere in the world, and you can create tracks in case you want to set up, uh, set them up beforehand. So you say, after you found the place that you want to add the start finish line, you hit next, you uh, name the track, and then you hit save. I'm not going to save it so that we don't add tracks, but basically once it's saved, it's created and saved to our database and it becomes available for anybody else to use. So when you go back to being wanting to be able to use it, you go back to the session type that you that you originally created it, road course. You'll find it on their user. And as you can see, we have a bunch of these listed down here. So you'll see them listed somewhere in a list around uh, on the list of tracks when you're nearby. So if you create a racetrack and it's 20 miles away, 100 miles away, uh, and when you immediately go back to test it, it won't show up there, but when you're physically in the location, you'll be able to see it. It's a similar story when you want to create a point-to-point point, point, point base racetrack. So let's create a uh, autocross circuit. Um, so again, very similar. You won't find anything official here. You probably actually won't find very many official autocross circuits anywhere in the world just because they change all the time. So you go and you hit uh, add one. You want to pan to wherever it is that you want to go. I'm going to pan to where I know that is a shopping district in a big parking lot. So, let's say that we wanted to do a uh, autocross circuit where it starts over here by this red robin and it ends at the end of the parking lot. What you do is you hit add start line. Again, it'll pan, it'll drop the pin and right in the middle of the screen, but then you're able to move it. Go ahead and move it to wherever it is that you want it. Add finish line. Go ahead and move it over here. And then essentially when uh, you want to position it so that let's say for example, uh, the circuit starts and you start launching over here and you drive through the start line. Um, and you can drive wherever you want, but basically what it's detecting when you drive to the finish line is that you drive past the finish line. So you want to, let's say that this course did something like this and it drives through. 
once you drive through and pass it by about five meters is when it'll detect that you've crossed, gone past the finish line and it'll uh, stop recording. So go ahead and hit next. Give the track a name, hit save. And similar to the other um, uh, scenario, once you go back to uh, autocross to create a session, if you're within two miles of the, of the circuit that you created, it'll show up under user. As you can see, I created one uh, several months ago near that red robin. Um, you select it, and then you hit start whenever whenever you're in the uh, pits or in the staging lane, ready to go. And as soon as you cross that, that start line, it'll start recording. That's it for this demo. Uh, go ahead and check out um, more of our how-to videos on Track Attack on the website under the app page or on our YouTube channel. Just search for Track Attack app and look for the Rhino. Thanks. Bye.